Hello, I'm Nathan from Serious Geeks and welcome to the channel. Today is just a quick update reviewing the Warhammer Community teaser that we've all seen on the internet. I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually really excited about this. Ever since they were released in 3rd edition, I've always been a massive fan of Necrons. I really loved the Nightbringer model when it first came out. It was so different to the rest of 40k and... Yeah, I just want them to continue down that vein with new models, new releases. So when they released this Warhammer Community teaser about the Silent King, I got very excited. As you can see on the screen now, uh, you can see some of the images from that. Uh, and there's a release date, or at least a reveal date, 23rd of May. So that date cannot come soon enough for me, I'm afraid. I really, really can't wait. Now, regarding all this, let's do a bit of speculation. I'm a big fan of Necrons, but I'm not the biggest fan of Necron Warriors. When they first come out, the actual models were, they were quite good. You know, obviously in third edition, things were different. But looking at them now, they, they look very dated and they need an updated line. As you can see, compare those Necron Warriors to Immortals and the, the difference is, it's like night and day. It's just, yeah, they've got to do something about the Necron Warriors. I got rid of my Necron army a long time ago. And I always said that I would get back involved in Necrons the moment they release Necron Warriors and probably new Necron Destroyers. Because those models are very dated as well. They're just an immortal body on top of a beetle. And it, it just don't look right. So hopefully we will see an update refresh of the line. And I'll go into why that I think that is going to happen in a sec. See this dude? Siras. He is, I think I'm pronouncing that right. You know what 40k is like. Uh, he is a great new model. I mean, his previous model was pretty spot on as well. I quite enjoyed that one. But he's getting a, he's getting a model update. And then they're also teasing about the Silent King. And I can't imagine that he's not having a new model. So the fact that they're releasing two character kits, probably large ones. So we obviously can see that Siras is going to be very big. So the Silent King is either going to be very intricate and detailed or he's going to be large himself. It wouldn't come on its own. They won't just release two two character models. Now, one is obviously going to be for Psychic Awakening, which is fair enough. So what is the other one going to be for? And I actually think we are going to get a small range refresh. We're going to see Necron Warriors change because they are dated. You think of the other Necron units in the army, which have um, Gorse weapons um, and... Well, they add a lot of Tesla as well, but they actually have, they don't have the rods that the Necron Warriors still use. So I actually, I actually firmly believe we are going to see a Necron Warrior and a Necron Destroyer refresh. And hopefully, Destroyers themselves, they'll get the close combat variant because it makes sense for them to do that, especially with a Destroyer Lord being close combat focused. I'd love to see a bit of variance in that as well, like given different weapon options to Destroyers, given different weapon options to Destroyer Lords. I'm really excited about the whole idea of it. I really believe we're going to see a refresh. Uh, hope beyond hope. I could be wrong, you know. Stranger things have happened. But, yeah, let's let's do it. Let's just hope for the best, guys. Prepare for the worst, hope for the best. Don't hold your breath, in other words. But let's all, let's all cross those fingers. Anyway, those are just some of the thoughts I have on Necrons. Please like and subscribe, put some comments in the bottom, tell me what you think about the Necrons and whether there'll be a range refresh or not, whether you want to see one, what models you'd like to see, I mean I'd like to see a new Nightbringer, you know, big and dangerous and imposing, proper Lord of War choice, let's do it. Anyway, I'm off for now, have a good day and I will speak to you all soon, thank you very much.